You welcome back. It's still Politics HQ right here on New Central TV. I'm Kofi Bartels. Let's talk next uh, about River State politics. Like you heard from my introduction, um, the River State um, All Progressives Congress, they've rejected the ruling of the governorship election petition tribunal right there uh, in River State. Of course, the candidate of the party, Tony Cole, has been speaking. The spokesperson of the party as well has been speaking and we will be looking at the issues there. Recently, the All Progressives Congress of River State chapter uh, paid a visit to the chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Abdullahi Ganuji, to express their uh, concerns over uh, the appointment of, uh, of persons who are not members of the All Progressives Congress in River State to key positions um, in Bola Ametinabu's government. For instance, you have ministers, a minister representing the state who is not a member of the All Progressives Congress, you have uh, representatives of the state at the NDDC in both the NDDC board and the management who are members, not members of the All Progressives Congress, at least that's what they say. Uh, tonight we have joining us a former specialist advisor to um, the governor of River State on media and publicity, uh, Mr. Punaboy and Kotaria. Um, and of course we're joined also by the spokesperson for the All Progressives Congress in River State, uh, Mr. Darlington Wuju. Gentlemen, good evening and thank you very much for your time. Good evening. All right. Okay. Uh, Darlington, if you can hear me. All right. We don't have Darlington yet. Uh, but I want to tell you, what, what are your thoughts on uh, the visit by the All Progressives Congress in River State to the APC National Chairman to express their grievances uh, regarding the state of affairs and appointment of um, persons from the state into the government of Bola Mentirubu? Well, while it is within their virus, it's not always their right to so do. And if it is done peacefully, it is also within the right of Mr. President to appoint whoever he wants to appoint. And let us also not forget that once you become the governor or president of the country, you now go beyond party lines. You look for things like integrity, credibility, antecedents, qualification and so on. Those are the, all the, <coughs> excuse me, those are all the variables you take on the advice to get people appointed. And you also look at the roles they play in your emergence as a governor or as a president. So that is within the government, the president's presidency. We don't dictate to him who to appoint. And probably he has some other facts which are not made public. In the case of River State, we all know that uh, before the presidential election, they had a super injunction. A super injunction is like an injunction given to uh, people to say, this is what I want, but I don't want the world to know that this is what I want. As to, in Nigeria, we say antipathy. So that took place, and everybody knew about that, that there was a super injunction to all the local government chairmen and all those who are working for the River State government under years and wiki to ensure that um, was the, the president was delivered. And even though most of them were not happy with the directive, but they had no choice. It was more or less as if their hands were affected. And you have the reward system in politics. This failure of reward in politics is what is responsible for most of the problems we have, like people getting disgruntled, you have bewildering frustration and corroding bitterness within the system and so on. So you find out that there are so many other variables which I cannot even mention or I do not even know of, that the appointors consider in appointing people. And in the case of River State, I think one major, one major reason will be the role yes, of which he played in the emergence of uh, uh, Volamit as a president uh, or president elect. And of course, there has to be a reward system. Now, right. if you talk of the APC, for example, you want to ask a question? Y yes. Uh, what role did uh, Yesomike play in, in the emergence of Bola? I mean, it's no, it's, no, it's no secret now. There are certain things that you don't even need to go into. I mean, no, uh, for, for information, I mean, I may not be aware. Uh, but I may not be aware. I get, our listeners may not be I'm aware. I'm explaining so. it now. The world yeah. knows. I'm explaining it. That's okay. what I'm saying. Okay. We can not even surreptitiously, we can work openly for the emergence of um, President Bolamit. How? 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 How did he work? Like I, 
they galvanize the voters. And like I told you about the super injunction, unless we are not listening, I said even the directives have been given to government workers to ensure the voters continue. I said it here, and I even explained the meaning of super injunction. Yeah, you tell them, I want you to do this. In the case of Russia, they said they are even written directives. So how else will a man work for you to win your election? The most, the most important thing is to governize, which he did. It's not secret. It's not, it's not hidden. Uh, what, what do you mean by you know, galvanize? Like, uh, how, how exactly yeah. did yes on Wiki galvanize support for, uh, uh, for Bola Mix? Because here... Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Because I just told you, I said there was even a super injunction where there were directives, even to workers, government workers, to ensure that they go. Like, for example, I said, local government chairman, I was like, I was to say. I said, even local government chairman, we are directed to ensure they, 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 those in local government voted for a uh, volatility. I told you, yeah, I, I explained super injunction, I went to force a step for that to explain what that meant. I so, 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 but, 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 I mean, yes, Umike is only has only one vote, um, and of course, uh, he cannot be on the streets and everywhere. Um, so, so, in what other ways? How was he able to to influence the voting? Because, I mean, you could see the support of, for instance, uh, Peter Gregory B in, in in River State when he went for his campaigns. You know, and um, so, so, how exactly was he able to influence? The vote. Are you saying he forced workers in River State uh, government civil service to vote for a party? He, he coerced them to vote for. Is that what you're saying? Okay, we don't have open boy in guitar. Open can you hear me, please? Because the reason I'm asking these questions is if you're able to. Okay. Yeah. Hello, open boy, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Please, I'm trying to get that. I don't know. It is whenever you're busy, all kinds of characters will be calling. Sorry, <laughs> I apologize. So I'm asking: when you say uh, yes, Sumbike had this super injunction, uh, are you saying he forced people to vote for for Bola Metinobu? Because last time I, I I thought I was I thought I was lucid enough. I said there were directives to local government chairman. There were also those working for the governor or working for the government, and all of them followed the directives. If you're a local government chairman, for example, there is really nothing wrong with that. It's called lobbying, and there's nothing wrong with lobbying. But the if local, but the local government local... chairman has one vote. Oh, God of Israel, let us stop pretending now. We all know what it is. If I'm a father of this house, and I said the whole house will vote for a particular person. The house will vote now. So I want to be a Democrat and say, vote whoever I want. But if I call out of them to a meeting and say, vote for Mr. They don't vote now. And we all know this. So let us stop all this uh, trying to embellish the thing. If I call that to vote for Mr. A, most times you even vote for Mr. A or Mr. B because a friend lobbied you to vote for that person, not even because you know that person. It happens everywhere in the world. It's called lobbying, and there is nothing wrong with lobbying in politics or in life. There is nothing wrong with lobbying. Okay. All right. So Open up. Call one as, of the things as, the... as a city governor, you yeah. can say, come, you will come, and you lobby them. Whichever means you use to lobby them, it's up to you. Hmm. It's up okay. to you. One, one of the uh -huh. things... So that, of, that's exactly what it is. One of the things the River State APC uh, presented to Abdullah Gandhiji, um, we, we, we invited a spokesperson to be on this program. I don't know why he's not here. Uh, but one of the, the complaints he presented was that they, they said people who had um, uh, almost killed the party in the state and had um, you know, dealt with them. We all know the story of APC in River State. Um, said some of their members had been killed by opposition forces or by the opponents in the PDP. We didn't mention names. Um, are the ones who are now enjoying uh, the benefit of APC being in the federal government. That they are the ones who have been fighting for the APC. But those who have been fighting to destroy the APC in River State uh, are the ones who are being given appointments today. Is that true? Politics is all about interest. It's not, in any way in the world, it's not really, it really hasn't anything to do with, when I mean interest, I mean personal interest, egocentric, not really the general interest. The personal interest uh, supersedes the general interest. Because first, you have to be in office in order to talk of being in the image of people. 
Like I'm very, I've been very frank. Whenever I'm on air, I like being frank. I don't believe in the rhetoric of I'm going there for you and not for myself. And I most times I ask, am I going to sign that check with you? Are they going to pay the salaries, uh, your salary to me? Like my father used to ask. Yes, I train you, no problem. But the first salary you are going to get your salary, and you are going to decide what to do with your salary if you're going to buy it and catch this. That's how politics is. Because it's not that training you, it's not a must that you okay. come back to say that. Open up, open up, open up, open up, because so of time. The, on the, yes, because yeah, let me on quickly. The issue of, yes. You asked a question. Okay. If you say politics is all about, I'm uh, sorry, you say uh, the some persons we accused of decimating the party in, at the state level and are now beneficiaries of the same party at the federal level. You also ask yourself a question. What role did that person play in the emergence of the president or somebody at that federal level? Are you saying it's That's true? Are you saying it's true this allegation or insinuation by the reverse APC in their presentation to the National Party chairman or the party's national in chairman? Politics, in that, politics, uh, uh, in no, politics, in politics. Can I land, please, sir? Are you saying it's true what they're saying that those who uh, are tried to decimate the party, in your words, in the state are the ones benefiting, you know, from the appointments by the APC. Are you saying that's true? That allegation is true, but there are reasons. It is irrefragable. Now, it is true. Okay. Because if he wasn't trying to decimate the party in River State, he wouldn't present an APC governorship candidate, not a PDP governorship candidate. Well, last question to you, upon a point, Gotara. Um, what are... now, so that... No, 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 no. For few, one minute, one minute. You see, let me be able so that those that are listening will understand what I'm saying. If half and half, it might then is subject to misinterpretation. First and foremost, we are talking of Yosef Wiki here. That's the truth about it. Now, Yosef Wiki is a member of the PDP. It is natural that he is going to hand over to another member of the PDP at the state level. He had a problem with the PDP at the federal level, that is Atiku. And so he supported Bolam Tinibu. What does that mean? Politically, he decimated the APC in this state for the PDP to win. But at the federal level, he worked with the APC. And that what the president uh, the is getting now is like a reward for All right. the service. All right. Uh, finally, Oponabo and Kotaria, um, there seems to be a contradiction between what the APC national is saying as regards the uh, uh, tribunal case of the party's governorship candidate in River State, uh, uh, Tonya Cole, and what the party in the state is saying. The party and national is saying, we are no longer interested in pursuing a petition against the PDP's governorship candidate in River State, the governor, uh, Sim Fubara. And the party's candidate is saying that I am independent of the party as a candidate, as far as this election is concerned, and I will pursue this to its logical conclusion. So um, uh, we looked at the statements released today by the state chapter of the APC. Uh, it talks about a contact contradiction between the tribunal's decision and the Supreme Court's position regarding the independence from the political party that sponsors them. Uh, where do you stand on this? Can you elaborate on this contradiction? Is the party's candidate I, independent? I, I'm not even aware of the contradiction. Uh, you are just bringing it to my notice now. But well, if you can be a little bit saucy so that I can get what you're saying. Are you saying the uh, uh, candidate is saying he's going to pursue yes. his suit? And yes. the party at the national is saying we are no longer interested? Exactly. Is that what you're saying? Yes. So the question now is please, because you talked of time. Yes. Yes. So, so, so I mean, the, the, the tribunal has, has said, uh, has made its decision. And the, the, the candidate is arguing that that decision is wrong because the Supreme Court had earlier made a position regarding independence of the candidate from the political party that sponsors them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. No, it is within his right to pursue. But when you have the backing of the party, of course, it's an additional weight. You know, it's like a man going to war himself okay. and a man going to war with the battalion. All right. Open yeah, up. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, and, I'm afraid and we intrigues, have to leave it at that. The intrigues involved, the party will absorb itself from all the intrigues involved and any role they will play to ensure the future of his dreams. They are no longer interested. That's thank you very much. Open up, Gutierrez. Thank you so much for your time. We'll keep our eyes on this thank case. Um, we'll see what happens as far as the party is concerned.
and the candidate is concerned what they do going forward. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. All right. All right. <laughs>